Were there demons on the earth before creation? And if not, where did they come from? Well, first of all, demons were not on the earth before creation. Think of the illogical aspect of the question. There was no place to fall until the earth was made. Secondly, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit are the only things that existed in eternity past. If you take a look at the creation week, the fact of the matter is that demons, who are nothing but another word for fallen angels, uh, were created on day one. If you go to, for instance, uh, Ezekiel, he says to us that Satan was a created being and was created perfect at the very beginning. But iniquity was found in him later, and that's at the end of the creation week. And he was then able to deceive one third of the angels to go with him. And so those are what we call demons, fallen angels. They're all interchangeable terms, but they didn't exist prior to the creation. And angels are created on day one. When we see that it says that at the beginning, and I'm reading from Hebrew, mm -hmm. at, at the beginning, God created the heavens, that's plural, and the earth. Now, of course, the standard rendering of that, when we say heavens, would be space. And of course, it's the perfect order of creation. God created time first in order to have something to record. Then he created space second in order to have a place to put something. And then he put the earth there. But when one reads it in, as heavens, in Hebrew, it's shamayim. The Bible does talk about three heavens that could be read at the beginning when God created time, not in the beginning, but at the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth could also be rendered the supernatural and the natural. And therefore the angels, demons, etc., did not exist prior to the physical creation coming into existence. Mm -hmm. And they did not fall until after the seventh day because everything is still good. The rebellion of Satan is recorded in Isaiah when he says, I'm going to do the same thing I just saw God do because he's watching God create for seven days. Six days of active creation, a day of rest, not because he's tired, but as a template for the way we're to live our lives. That's spoken of specifically in Exodus chapter 20, verses 8 to 11. And so the angels are created they are created beings, they're not eternal, not in the eternity past. And like us, they only have an eternity future. Mm -hmm. But Satan rebels after watching God create, and then in Isaiah, he says he's going to do the same thing. God says, no, you're not. And he casts them down to the earth. Now I can't prove whether it was day eight or day nine or day 10, but it was immediately after the week of creation. And we find the reason for it in Isaiah Mm -hmm. Okay, oh, oh, all right. So I was, I was waiting for you to give a reason in Isaiah, but I just wanted to follow up from that by saying, yeah, yeah. "It's going on." You can you say that. Well, no, I say the reason is obvious. Um, Satan gets what we call here in the southern part of the United States a case of the covets. Okay. He became covetous, he became covetous of God's creative power, but he doesn't have creative power himself. Yeah. And yet, when it says in Ezekiel that he was created perfect, that's day one, he was created perfect. Yeah. And if we take a look at scriptures in Ezekiel, it appears, at least from the general description, that he may have been in charge of worship in heaven, in charge of music. Uh, he is called the covering cherubim, uh, perhaps in the rank of an archangel, mm -hmm. and that he is above the throne of God. Now that part we can derive from, from Ezekiel. But in seeing God create, he becomes covetous of God's creative powers, which he does not have. And yet he claims that he's going to do the same thing. And God says, oh, no, you're not. You're just a created being. You're, you're so far below me, it's not even worth discussing. Mm -hmm. And he throws him out. And in this way, he is then able to be on the earth and to deceive Adam and Eve. Okay, and, and Grady, we just need to remind all our viewers that we are overcomers and that there's nothing that Satan can throw at us, which we haven't got one who is able to overcome. So don't be weighed down by what you believe demons are going to be doing in our hearts and our lives.